Mary Cohen, co-founder of BASE, the Bronx Animal Shelter in Denver. My only question today uh, is Article 26. I'm learning about it over the last two years. Article 26, uh, 3A, says that it is the law to heavily sedate animals before they get euthanized, or while they're getting euthanized. And uh, in 2015, I stood with Scott Stringer after his uh, investigation, and that was not the case witnessed by some of his people. So I haven't heard that that has gotten better. And it's, a, it's horrifying because that intracardiac injection was unbelievably painful. We do not um, euthanize animals by intracardiac injection. I can't hear you. We, can, we do not use intracardiac methods. For what do you use? It's intravenous. Or so just like in a vet's office. It's Correct. Yes. But you still don't sedate like we in sedate a vet's office? About, I would have to say maybe 75%. The challenge is, is that the state of New York only allows us one drug uh, to sedate animals with when our certified euthanasia technicians are euthanizing. That drug does not exactly provide the type of sedation that we would prefer, but we are completely uh, regulated by the state and the, the selection of drugs that we can use. So, and that drug is ketamine, and we had uh, Ketamine generally, when it's administered for sedation for euthanasia in a vet's office, is combined with Valium. We're not able to use that uh, because our certified euthanasia technicians are only allowed to use ketamine. So in some instances, it's not in the best interest of the dog to use that particular drug. And so we choose to use humane handling and just compassionate care when we have to uh, deal with some of those dogs. And that's sort of. Would you like to see a change? I would love to see a change. The amendment? Yes. Yes. Because okay. I am a proponent. Uh, and so there, we also have the ability to euthanize uh, animals when there are veterinarians on the property using veterinary drugs that were ordered under our veterinary license. If they're on the property and there's somebody there that can administer that medication, there are times that we'll choose to use those medications, but then there are a lot of times where that that particular situation doesn't occur. So, but you would like to see a change? Yes. And then, then the other part is that you you said the uh, I'm just asking you that the cost of medicine is going up. I know there's a lot of people that support you. Is there a pharmaceutical company that you know you could go to to say? Hey, you know, help us out instead of uh, well, cash. We're, we're in. Uh, we do have a partnership with with one major pharmaceutical company for uh, actually several that offer shelter discounts, shelter pricing, and so we're engaged with them. 